Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the empirical probability or the experimental probability of an event occurring. Um, for this one, we have some stats. In a given week, a, v a vet treated the following animals. Um, a dog, 50 were treated, 35 cats, 8 birds, and 2 reptiles. So if the probability of selecting an animal remains constant, Find the probability that the next animal seen is, we're going to first start with a dog, a bird, and a reptile. So remember, in order to find the probability of an event happening, what we are going to do is we're going to take the frequency divided by the total amount seen. Or you could say um, the successes over the total amount. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is find the sum of this column. So I would take 50 plus 35, which gives me 85. And then this is another 10, so I'm going to find the sum of the frequency, which gives us our n. Okay, um, these are just our frequencies, so we end up with a total of 95. So the first thing that we want to find is we want to find the probability that we have a dog as the next patient. So you can either name this with a capital letter, sometimes they do that, and you can put a capital letter in there, um, but I'm just going to say the probability of a dog being seen. So what we would do, a success would be there was 50 dogs seen during the week out of 95 total. And there's a lot of different ways that you can write the answer. One way is you can leave it as 50 over 95. Most of the time, if you leave it as a fraction, we would reduce it. So 50 over 95 reduces to 10 over 19. So this is an acceptable answer. Or sometimes they will say to round it to three decimal places or something like that. So we could put it as 0.526. Or you could also express this as a percent. So it's really just a matter of preference of what you prefer. Um, all three of these are acceptable answers for finding the probability. So let's look at the next one. For the next one, we're looking for the probability that a bird was selected. So with this, we would take 8 out of 95. And I can't actually reduce that, so I would just leave it as 8 over 95. Or if you wanted to write this as a decimal approximation, you would just do 8 divided by 95 and you get 0 0.084 or 8.4%. So the probability that the next animal being treated is a bird is 8.4%. Okay, and then the last one, the probability that we are selecting a reptile. Okay, so for this one, a reptile was the least amount seen, so we would have 2 out of 95. Again, this can't be reduced. So if you leave your answer as a fraction, you would leave it like this. Or you can convert it to a decimal by dividing 2 divided by 95 would give us 0 0.021 or 2.1%. So with this, remember that if you are looking for the probability of a certain event happening when you're given a frequency table, all you have to do is find the sum of your frequencies. And then the event, it's um, what you would consider a success, so the probability of the next animal being a dog, um, divided by the total. As always, thanks for watching. If you have additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.